All right. Are you ready for a stabilizing practice? We are gonna practice grounding through the feet. We're gonna do a lot of balance poses and finding stability today. So if you've just been feeling rocky and in this kind of wave of uncertainty, like most of us have, this is the right practice for you. So roll out your mat. Let's start in a standing position and let's stabilize. All right, so we're gonna start into dasana. So take the feet as wide as the hips, tuck the tailbone under. You might even create a diamond shape from the, the navel to the pubic bone. And just check in that you can see a straight line from thumb to pointer. If we tend to stand like this with the tail sticking out, you're just gonna take a little tilt of the pelvis, or maybe you do the opposite and you need to um, stick out the pelvis a little. So starting here, take the hands down by the sides. We'll take a deep inhale as we shrug shoulders to ears, breathe in and exhale, let it go. Inhale, shoulders lift, exhale, release. Once more, big breath in, big breath out. And just soften into the space. Starting to find your ujjayi breath in and out of the nose. And each inhale, you notice the belly expands and lifts up. Each exhale, you notice the ribs soften. Inhale to expand. Exhale, soften in and out of the nose, just grounding through the edges of the feet. And sometimes we feel like we've been cracked open and we don't know what's coming next. We don't know where we'll find ourselves. We start to lose hope. And I just wanna let you know when you're cracked open, that's when the light can find you. Can you just allow that light to find you today, that stability in the breath and the softness of the mind, just allowing everything else to melt off the back, a cleansing, a refresh. And then we're just gonna start by taking the right knee up to the chest. And if you don't feel stable at first, really ground through the big toe and then lift and just to find balance we really want to engage there's three different arches in the feet so we have one here we have one at the front and one on the outside edge so when you're pressing through the big toe you're really helping to find balance and engaging all three of those arches let's bend and flex a few times the right foot Let's point and flex a few times the right foot. Good, and then take this knee out to the side, lower it and level with the hip, and just take the left hand to hip, and then flex, dorsiflex means bring the big toe towards the shin and find stabilization here. You might already feel the glute on the left side firing up, that's amazing. So release the right foot to the earth. Right hand's gonna come down. Bring the left heel lifted, toes turn out. Hand can stay on the hip or reach it up. And then you can play with your gaze. You might feel more stability and grounding by gazing down. Or you might challenge yourself today and gaze up. When you're ready to release, step into a warrior two. Ground the back foot and Bend through the front knee. Shoulders stack over hips, tuck the tail. Find stability, pressing into the big toes, the pinky toes, and the heel of the foot. Good, turn into warrior two, other side. And then we're gonna come into half moon from here. Left hand down. Right toes point out, reach the right arm high. 
energetically really press through that heel, creating a 90 degree angle with both legs. Good, step the right foot down, come up to stand, take the left knee and just open it out to the side, dorsiflex the foot and breathe. One more breath in and exhale, left knee swings forward to the chest. See if you can do it without dropping that foot. Lift and bend, point and flex. I don't know why I keep saying bend, point and flex the toes. And step it down, Tadasana. Good. Another trick I like to do when I'm trying to find balance and stability is I lift all the toes on the foot that I want to ground. I press the pinky toe down first, all of the toes follow until the big toe. And then we really can energetically bring our focus into that big toe, pressing down and finding stability. So let's do that on the right side and come into our tree pose, Vrakasana. Hips as open as the flexors allow you today and arms can open like wings just to start. I think stability is a word that we're all kind of craving at this stage of life with all of the madness of the quarantines and the changing mandates. And so this yoga practice is meant to help you find some grounding and centering Maybe here on our mats, we can feel in control, we can feel stable. But we also notice when we lose our balance or we lose that control, that's a part of it. We have to be able to let go. We have to be able to surrender to the whole process. None of it's gonna be perfect or easy. That was never promised. And that's why this practice is so important to keep you sane, release that foot and let's step into tree pose other side. Maybe a different expression with the arms. And maybe this is the, the small amount of minutes during your day that you do feel stable and that's great. But what we wanna do is bring this off the mat as well. So when we don't feel in that place of balance and safety, what can we do to stop and pause and breathe and slow down, maybe turn off the news, get off your phones and just really be with yourself, knowing that all of that is within you. The stability and the safety is what you create inside. It's not controlling and micromanaging everything around you. That's what fear does, fear wants to be in control. One more breath in and step the right foot down. Grounding through the feet, release the hands to dasana. Take three clearing breaths in and out. Inhale, exhale. One more breath in and fully out. Good. So we're just going to start to lift the left arm and start to reach over to the left. Let the right heel lift up. You, your expression might be a little different than mine, but we're finding stabilization through this whole left leg. We're finding this nice side stretch, reaching, opening, and then step it down. And let's do the other side, reach the right arm open, lean to the right, stabilize, and lift the left leg. If you fall out of it, you're human, it's okay, just come on back, try again. One more breath, and release. That's harder than it looks, man. <laughs> Let's turn onto the middle of our mat. Hands to hips. 
take a few tilts of the pelvis. So tuck forward, reach the tail out, tuck forward, reach the tail out and forward and back. Good, and then find that neutral position again, maybe using that diamond to check for a straight line. Let's lean into the left foot. If you wanna lift the toes first and ground pinky down to big toe, you can do that to help. And then I just want you to slightly bend the right knee and just find balance here. Notice what the shoulders do, do they tense up or can you release them down? and you press more away from the earth like you're about to take a big step. And then take the knee forward, press the heel forward, hold this posture. Notice again the chest, spread the collarbones wide, maybe hands down by the side, breathe. I know this is hard. Bend the knee, press the heel behind you, warrior three. Here the right hip tends to lift, so just keep it closing off. I could balance a glass of water anywhere on the spine and it would be able to stand without spilling. Now take the right hand to the earth or a block. We're gonna take a revolved posture, so left arm's gonna twist open. Keep pressing through the heel. It's okay if it's not as high, but energetically lift. Good, step the right foot down, warrior one, lift up. Bend through the front knee, take a moment to find your posture, turn both hip points forward and lift. Start to straighten the front leg, reach forward and fold. You could take hands to heart, you could balance with it on the ankle. You might even take prayer hands at the low back pressing palms together and crown and extension, neck and extension of the spine. Find stability with the breath. Hands to earth, standing splits, lift that back heel, tuck the chin. And step the right foot to meet the left. Chair pose. All the way up to stand, hands to heart. Three clearing breaths. Take the feet under the hips, in and out of the nose three times. When we don't feel stable, the nervous system gets jacked up, right? We can't find calm, we can't find peace because the nervous system is telling us that there's a threat. The yoga practice helps to calm the nervous system, to slow down and know that the threat is just your fear. When you're projecting onto that fear rather than just allowing, allowing life to unravel as it's meant to, and trusting, having faith that it's going to work out, you're gonna be safe. You are safe. The home within is safe. Let's lift the left knee and level with the hip. Press the heel forward and hold here. Keep flexing toe to shin. Bend the knee, come back where you're three. Move as slow as you need today. Lower the left hip. Left hand down to the earth, right arm out like a wing. Maybe twist open, maybe stay there. Big step back, warrior one. Reach up. 
find your adjustment. Turn the hip points forward, press through the outer left edge of the foot. Straighten through the front leg as you bring hands to heart, folding in pyramid, and maybe adjusting hands to a new position. Soften through the neck. Cracked open is a great place to be. Rock bottom shows you what has worked and what hasn't. Forces you to let go of everything and say, fine, I give up. I accept that I don't have control. I give my control to you. God, universe, higher power. It's the surrendering of faith that brings you back to safety and stability. Bend the front knee, lift into your standing splits. Tuck the chin, point through the toes. And step the left foot to meet the right. Lower the seat. Come onto tippy toes so we're sitting on the heels, balancing here, bringing knees together, squeezing, and maybe reaching the arms. Finding balance and strength. And when you're ready to release, come onto the seat and all the way onto the back. You can rock side to side with the knees and the chest. And then plant the feet as wide as the mat. Take some windshield wipers right and left. Change is inevitable. It's the only constant that we can count on. So it's better just to get comfortable with change. Take knees to chest and rock side to side. And then choose one more posture that you want to include before we come into Shavasana. So maybe it's a shoulder stand or a twist on each side. If you're in shoulder stand, point the toes, tuck the chin, squeeze through center. And you can release to plow. Maybe you're in a bridge pose or a happy baby. Maybe you wanna take one more posture. And then lower on down. Tuck knees. And release. Supta Baddha Konasana. Knees out to the sides. Feet touching. And take one hand to the heart and one to the belly. Get the shoulders nice and flat. Soften through the hip flexors. Just allow yourself to rest. Giving back to yourself is one of the best ways to restabilize. Just like when your car is broken or it's not functioning correctly you might take the car to the mechanic and the mechanic works on the car, gives it all kinds of love and attention and it comes out repaired because you took the time to fix it. But if you don't send the car to the mechanic, that car is just gonna sit and it's not gonna function correctly. It might not be drivable 
until you do something about it, until you take care of it. And that's the same with ourselves. If we're not feeling stable and secure, well, that's not gonna change until you spend the time to give back to yourself, to show yourself that you are in control of your emotions, the way that you react or respond, and the things that bring you joy, you can do more of those. And the things that make you anxious, less of that. So if you were to take yourself into the mechanic today, what is it that would need to be repaired? What would you look at under the hood? What would you fix or change or reinstall? So that you could drive that car out of the shop like it's brand new. So you could show up tomorrow for your family, your friends, your workplace, yourself a brand new, stable, secure, happy person. As we release this posture, just extend the legs out long. You might keep one hand on the heart and one on the belly here. We're going to take the palms open wide for a traditional Shavasana. And just slowing down the breath, closing the eyes, and letting this, this time for yourself just to rejuvenate. Like we're cleaning the oil in the car so it can run a little better. Just spend these next few minutes in silence and peace and calm not hopping into the next thing, but really just choosing to be present here. Begin to deepen the breath, taking a nice inhale to fill the belly, and exhale to release. Inhale, 
And just sigh out that relief that everything's going to be okay. Once more, deep breath in. And full expansive breath out. You can bring energy into the body through the fingers and the toes, all the way into the knees and the shoulders, the hips and the heart. Might even stretch overhead. And we'll bring knees to chest. Coming all the way up to a seat, rolling forward. And just grounding down for a moment to remind yourself home is within. And as Rumi says, the wound is where the light can enter. Bringing hands at heart center. Shanti, 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 peace, peace, peace. Namaste. Mm -hmm.